Hey everybody, I am Michael the Ark of Let's Play Game and Entertainment. We are back out here today on where we will be on the Roosevelt Forest here in Colorado on Hunting Simulator. We are going to be looking for a black bear today. If we find a grizzly bear, we'll take him too. <laughs> uh, we are using, let me show you, uh, the... the 85 Hunter laminated and the 3030 model 94 takedown, um, both with the six by scopes and I'm trying to think, am I doing something right or wrong? I don't know. Anyway, um, we have this one, the 338 for a longer shot. And then we have this for a closer shot. Hopefully. Oh yes. We need to switch out our companion to Link. So in the last episode that y'all, well, that I recorded, I don't know if y'all seen it yet or not. We went duck and goose hunting, and that is a very long episode. Um, it was, it's got to be the longest darn episode I have recorded in a while. <laughs> but we're just going to fast travel back up here. Like I said, this is a great spot. Um, you want to make sure you have your predator collar. What? There's a turkey right there. All right. If I get a call or anything, then I will uh, come back on here. I don't want the video to be nearly as long as the other one because that's going to take a long time to render and upload. Uh, so let's do this. Okay, we've been up here calling for a little bit. There's a bear over here. said he was 200 yards away um, if you are okay 163 yards let's make one call go slow if you're walking with the collar or you're on the ground with the collar you're gonna have a really hard time uh, you won't have a hard time. It's just you have to stand up and switch to binoculars and then you can and then switch to your gun and then it'll let you move uh, while you're prone. All right, and that is a black bear. I'm just hoping that we don't spook him before we get up here. right there I think he's on the bottom of that hill and we might not be able to, to get to him so it doesn't always do it it's just sometimes that it does it okay but once the glitch hits you have to travel back to the um, to your uh, cabin, I think, or it will not stop doing it. All right, we're gonna get down here and see if we can possibly get a shot on him. Ooh! Now I'll tell you, I have wounded several black bear, and if you don't get a good shot. They absolutely will 
uh, run forever. All right, all right, where is he? don't know where he's at. Oh, crap. Okay. Where are you at? I think he's coming up the hill. I don't want to call if I can't see it and he's that close. Cause it will spook them. All right. I hear it somewhere, I think. I'm just not sure where it's at. Give one call. I hope that we didn't spook it. The dog didn't start barking, so I don't think we did. I don't think it went up the hill. I'm going to see if I can find it. All right, we just got a track from it. Um... I'm going to send my dog to see if he'll find it, but he did come up the hill. I just don't know whereabouts he went. Looks like he spooked and took off. Let's go. Okay, so what we've done was we fast traveled um several times and we went <clears throat> we left here and then fast traveled back here and then we left and fast travel to the cabin and back here. And it seems like the bear come back when we done that. Yeah. See if we can get up on this rock. Okay, he's coming. He's coming this way. Should be coming up over the hill any minute now. I 
hear him. And boom! One. Oh, wow. Okay. We're going to give chase. If I can get up. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, it was not a good shot. I can tell you that. We're going to have to actually track it down and shoot it again. So this is how this goes. You, <laughs> we're going to track for a long time and then end up back over in this direction probably. Um, so follow that train. I'm going to look and see if I see it going out across here somewhere. That was a big bear. Just trying to gauge how far across and down there it is. If we see it again, we better shoot it with the, uh, the 338. All right. So if I find it again, I will definitely uh, shoot it again. But this seems to be how it always goes, is you find one and you shoot it and you have to chase it down and shoot it again. So we do have a track right here. What I would suggest doing, just put yourself down a waypoint every so often. And if you leave the track, then you want to go ahead and uh, put you one down again. So that was not a vital. I can tell you that just by the way that the blood is. I was trying to go for like a front lung heart shot, but it's really hard to do that on these bear. But anyway, I'm going to track this and I'll be back. Okay, I think we just got lucky and heard it over here. Right there. All right, we're actually going to switch guns. We're going to lay down. I think that may be a different bear. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. All right, um, we're gonna go on back this way and see if that was the same bear. We can try to find its, try to find its um, track, but I kind of don't know if I hit it or not. Mm, okay. If that's not a bloody track back here, then it's very likely that that's a different bear. And we'll have two bears. So, this comes from back here. I believe it is the same bear. Yes, it's the same bear. Okay. Uh, he should be dead somewhere, I would think. But we're going to track him on down and see if we can't find him. Before I go any further, I want to show you. If you see that this blood is thicker, most likely you've got a better shot. I think I got a, a broadside shot that time. And you can see that he's bleeding a lot more. Uh, I believe he will bleed out this time eventually. And we'll probably just be able to pick him up. And Oh, he is dead. He's right here. We got a vital on him. So now we're just going to put that there, and we are just going to run straight to him. And this is the same bear, and the way I knew is that uh, the blood track was coming with his footprints. 
if it had been a different bear, it would have actually uh, had a separate blood track, or it it would have had different um, footprints with no blood. So this game now has an auto walk feature. It's really cool. Uh, you just press the left D-pad. And you don't have to do all of it yourself anymore. It's pretty cool, actually. And we're pretty close. Now, if as always, uh, I highly suggest taking your dog and before you pick it up, before you pick it up, oh wow, this is a big bear. Good gosh. Uh, get your dog to track. And when he acts all happy, like that, searching, searching, seek and destroy, found something, praise him, and then bag it. This is a mature. That is a big bear. We're going to bag it, and we are going to go back to our cabin and we're going to look at this thing I think that this one it might be bigger than the one that we have but I'm not sure so what we're going to do is look this is a 91 score the one that we have is a 91 score I think so we are going to sell this one and that is that I will see y'all next time and I hope y'all have enjoyed this. Uh, I've made three Hunt Simulator 2 videos this week. Uh, I got to jump back on Call in the Wild and do some videos for that. And then I got to come up with ideas for the fishing videos and stuff. So I will see y'all later.